I think what we have here in the county is a culture that supports innovation and entrepreneurship and thinking in a different way, thinking in a creative way. Betty Noble and Sharon Schmeckley of Howard County Community College get to nurture a lot of young entrepreneurs. They knew there was talent and aren't surprised people are starting to take notice. What you're talking about is homegrown businesses that understand the technology, figure out what the, the product base is, and are able to have the functional components around it. The proof is seen in recent mergers. It includes Micros and Sourcefire, which were sold for billions. Maryland and Howard County can best be described as an up-and-comer. When it comes to innovation and entrepreneurship, however, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce ranked the state number one in the last three years. Venture capital has been flowing into the state, helping both entrepreneurs and businesses. Reports say the state received $645 million in funding, which is up by 50 percent from last year. There is a reason why Silicon Valley is so enamored with Howard County. First and foremost, it's the companies, but more importantly, it's the people. The quality of life in Howard County draws you know, incredible talent, and that talent is what the companies are looking for. You know, a lot of smart people to help these companies develop a lot of smart products. This is a what have you done for me lately industry. To this end, the county is working with the JHU Applied Physics Lab to put together a tech transfer program. This could lay the foundation for the next Micros. In Howard County, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.